There's a particular mindset that endures. There's a particular mindset that's productive. There's a particular mindset that fulfills the will of God. And so today, I want to answer the question, why is the right mindset so very important for your leadership? What's at stake for you? Hey there, I'm Ryan Franklin, and this is Church Leader Made Simple, and I'm here to help you get the clarity needed to move your church forward. I'd love for you to join me weekly. Just hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified as soon as I post a new video. And without any further delay, let's get to it. Today, I want to talk to you about a, a leadership mindset. And the reason this subject is so, so very important, especially right now, especially in the church today, so many people are being affected by the events and the circumstances in the world today. And this brings an incredible level of anxiety to many of our lives as leaders, which in turn, if our minds are not right, it can literally create chaos in certain areas of our lives, possibly in all areas of our lives. And I'll let you know up front, I plan to use a lot of scripture in these series because uh, I need you to see that mind, that the mind is not just a psychology topic. It's very much a biblical leadership topic. I want you to look at Isaiah 26 uh, verses three through four. That will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord, forever for in the Lord Jehovah's everlasting strength. 2 Corinthians 10, 5, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Notice the key words, whose mind is stayed on thee, bringing into captivity every thought we must understand when the, when the mind is in alignment and is balanced with the will of God, then everything else in life can follow. When the mind is in alignment and is balanced with the will of God, then everything else in life can follow. The mind makes us conscious of who we are and what we're here on earth to do. And so when that's confused even slightly, which does happen, to us from time to time. If we don't know how to deal with it and we don't know how to get our minds shifted back to the right place, it can easily throw us off and it can make us stumble emotionally. And yes, it could even make us stumble spiritually. And unfortunately, we as church leaders are not exempt to stumbling at times in our life. Let me explain to you um, how this happens and, and why this topic of the mind is so biblical and so important. 2 Corinthians 4.4 4 says, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. So from the very beginning, Satan, who is the God of this world, has made it his personal mission to attack the minds of unbelievers. But it's not just unbelievers. That's his goal with believers as well. That's his goal with you. In fact, from the very beginning of time, in including the first two people on earth, Satan used darkness and deception on everyone as a way of moving people away from the will of God for their lives. I'm not gonna read it, but the whole chapter of Genesis chapter three shows us the story of the serpent tricking the woman into disobeying God. The serpent promises the woman that her eyes will be open. In other words, he's promising that she'll see better. Notice that his words are, are twisting things in her mind to believe something that's opposite of the truth. Satan's tactics from the beginning was to confuse the thoughts or confuse the mind of mankind. And, and, and I would have to say that this is, the, this is his primary tactic with church leaders even today. Romans 8, 6 says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. The problem starts within our minds. 
And there's nothing Satan would love more than to continually and progressively deteriorate the minds of church leaders to a place where we eventually find ourselves in a carnal state of mind. Please understand that I'm, I'm not saying that everyone who struggles mentally or, or emotionally is going to end up in some bad situation. I don't believe that at all. But do understand that if we don't give attention to our mindset on a regular basis, if we don't care for ourselves mentally and emotionally, we could be setting ourselves up for the opportunity for failure. But at the very least, we're setting ourselves up to, to not be able to live up to the potential that God has strategically placed within each one of us. I want to not only live in the favor of God, but as, as a church leader, I want to accomplish the perfect will of God in my life. And if you desire to live in the perfect will of God and, and you're watching on YouTube, why don't, why don't you tell me about it in the comments below? Also, I... I want you to evaluate your life through the lens of this particular question. What negative fruit comes to the surface when you're tired and when you're stressed the most? Spend a few minutes processing that over the next few days. Coming up soon, I will give you some simple tips to bring health to your mindset. But before I do that, in the next session, I wanna tell you what actually happens to us when our mindset becomes unclear. I wanna thank you so much for giving me your time and attention. Please hit the like button below. It really will make a difference. Be sure to visit uh, also churchleadermadesimple.com. There's a free seven session course called Leader Life and Rhythm that you can't find anywhere else. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you.